This is the camera record of earthquake disaster, 220 miles out of Belgrade in Skopje, ancient capital of the Yugoslav province of Macedonia. The city of more than 200,000 that had become a popular vacation spot is the victim of a cataclysmic quake that leaves nearly 90% of its buildings either demolished or rendered unusable because of heavy damage. As word reaches the outside world, the full impact of the worst natural disaster in modern Yugoslav history becomes apparent. The Hotel Macedonia is reduced to rubble in that first destructive jolt as dawn broke over Skopje. Aftershocks, about 100 new small earthquakes, only add to the terror that grips the stunned population. By the thousands, on foot and by any vehicle, those who live are evacuated from the stricken city. There is the threat of a typhus epidemic. The stories of rescue defy the imagination. Digging in the ruins, workers will not give up. Many impossible rescues are made following the first miracle of Skopje, when a Belgian couple is rescued by Yugoslav coal miners from the north after 55 hours beneath the rubble of the Hotel Macedonia. Later, a team of French technicians sound the ruins with an electronic listener and find 10 more persons alive in the rubble, nearly four days after the earthquake shattered the city. injured are treated at hastily set up aid stations before being removed to all available hospitals in Yugoslavia. President Tito flies in for a first-hand look at what is left of the fourth largest city in his nation of 19 million. A nation in mourning for the dead, mounting toward 1,000 with perhaps as many as 700 bodies still within the rubble. Skopje, a city as old as Western civilization will be rebuilt on a safer site to be determined later. <laughs>